Hey guys, what's up? By Sacktron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video, and in this one, I'm gonna be talking about what I think is the most reliable, uh, high percent success rate Town Hall Nine attack strategy uh, you should be using right now. It should be the go-to. Um, obviously, there's a lot of things working at Town Hall Nine. The update made it um, even more easy for three stars, even more different options for three stars. So there's other stuff you can be doing, but I think this is the best bet, um, especially for high level heroes. And if you have access to bowlers in your CC, I know some people don't have access to bowlers. So I'll talk about maybe alternatives to that a little bit. But um, th the thing with the heroes is some of these attacks are going to involve queen walks, which you want to have a hero, uh, or at least a queen of 20 or above typically and uh, even for the other attacks they're just kill squad based with golems it still helps having at least like 15 15 heroes and uh, if you don't have this it might be a better bet to go to valks or something that has more dps because um, the attacks that are heavily defense targeting typically you want to have higher level heroes because you're going to need um that amount of dps in your kill squad to get the essentials like the queen and the cc troops whereas if you have low level heroes you might want to uh, kind of aid the dps of your of your low heroes with valks or pekkas or or something that does a little bit more damage there are exceptions though and uh, you're free to experiment as you want in friendly challenges but let's take a look at what i think is the most effective uh, town hall 9 attack strategy right now two different variations of it actually taking a look at four total attacks. Uh, but you can see this war, I talked about it in the last video. Very good job to Dark Looters. The main thing for us, the Achilles heel with those Town Hall 11s, couldn't get those guys to start efficiently. So good job to their bases, their base builders for the Town Hall 11s. They, uh, they held up very well. And that's probably the biggest uh, factor that contributed to their win. So uh, these attacks are going to be air attacks. That's the go-to right now. We're seeing hogs work a little bit, but air attacks are the main thing. And the first kind of variation is your standard two golem. I think it's called a shattered La Loon. Surprisingly, it's working well. And it does use bowlers, so it's not like an old-fashioned shattered La Loon. But um, if you don't have access to bowlers, I'd recommend uh, a CC of Max Falks if you have them, or just bring some wizards and just, you know, bring like another four wizards and just don't bring any type of bowlers or anything. Um, you can experiment with a P.E.K.K.A. maybe. Whatever you think works. There's a lot of different options. Bowlers are your best bet, though. Um, actually, Nano John doesn't even bring bowlers in this attack. It shows how you don't need the bowlers. Uh, you can bring a Lava Hound, which I think he actually does in this attack. So uh, there's a little bit of options there. But basically, the idea is you can still get two air defenses in the Queen, even if it doesn't look like it. Because uh, he drops that jump, so the, the troops kind of move through the compartment and uh, step up towards to where the queen is. Now it was a little bit close here, but his queen will take out the defensive queen. Typically you wanna have it be a little more, um, a little easier to do, not be cutting it that close. But you can see how many uh, balloons he has left up here. Great heal, I mean he knows these wizard towers are gonna be uh, hectic on the last part of the attack, that's why they're there. So the heal spell keeps them up. This guy also had a Tesla farm, so he really sold out on the top of that base in terms of anti-air. The problem was because of that, nothing actually in the base killed any of his balloons. So there's so many lava hounds, so many balloons left up. Um, this is the first uh, kind of variation. Just that standard uh, shattered Laloon, typically gonna bring two golems, you can do one if you wanna bring a larger air part of the attack. Typically two though, um, I recommend bowlers, that's typically gonna be your best bet in your CC, but you can bring the max Lava Hound if you feel you don't need the DPS from the bowlers. So nice attack Nano John, let's go ahead and take a look at one more like this, then we'll look at another variation. Um, Ali coming in here with the next one, and I think he has the bowlers, um, I believe so. But uh, drops down these baby dragons just for the funnel, um, taking out a few buildings, and uh, who knows, maybe he'll trigger a few air traps too. That's always a good benefit um, of that. Drops down the golem. I like that poison on the queen. She's actually barely in it, but she is. That just slows down the DPS. That way the golem doesn't take as much of a punishment. There's the second golem uh, right behind. 
the king, the queen, um, the wizards, everything moving through. It's now beneficial to bring a few extra wizards because they do um, do quite a bit more DPS than they used to. They're level 6 and they have the buff. He does bring the CC of bowlers. I think that's typically a good idea to do. Um, if you only have one golem, it can, you know... There's the kind of the thing where you either want to go for it or you don't. You don't want to go halfway and bring only one golem. In the bowlers, if you're going to go for it, I'd say bring a big kill squad. Bring the two golems, which will help your bowlers stay alive a little bit longer. You can see how deep into the base he's getting. Even though these bases have offset queens, if you bring a, you know, a hefty kill squad like this, and it definitely helps having high-level heroes, you can get very deep into the base and get almost all the air defenses taken out in some circumstances, which he does here. He gets three out of those four and uh, almost gets that fourth one with the bowlers. Um, here come the Lava Hounds, just uh, dropping down those haste spells. The haste are typically going to be better than rage, and because they don't take up as much space, it's, uh, it's a much more economic thing to bring. The only time I'd bring a Rage is if there's just a huge cluster of buildings, um, including Expos, which uh, are a little bit higher HP, so the balloons can't just get it through with like one drop from a group of two balloons. In those cases, it takes like four balloons to take out an Expo, I think, maybe even five. It takes quite a few balloons. In that case, the Rage might be good if there's a, an Expo and a bunch of uh, Archer Towers and Teslas. Then you can drop that rage. It is a little bit bigger, so you can cover more space. But if you're just doing it for moving those balloons along, uh, it's going to be a better idea to uh, to bring those haste spells. And the heal spell has really been making some uh, some headway lately. You can see here, it's good for those back end wizard towers. Now a few uh, traps get on those balloons, so they'll take out a few balloons. But at this point, it doesn't matter. The heal spell really is just to uh, to keep those balloons up towards the end. People sometimes just drop a few balloons on those back end wizard towers, but that's a little less reliable. Having that heal spell ensures those balloons will be uh, well taken care of at the end of the attack. So it's just kind of a good insurance to bring if you have the spell space. Nice attack to Ollie. Let's take a look at the other variation of the same kind of type of attack, the other side of the coin here. Going back to 17, um, we have... Uh, Nico, I'll just say Nico, I guess, and this is a queen walk, and I think this is another very reliable attack. These attacks you're seeing, I think most of them are fresh hit three stars. Uh, one of these, possibly two, might be clean up, but for the most part, I think these were very successful. The, uh, the, the ground attacks were slightly less successful, if I have that right. I don't have statistics, I'm just kind of, from what I've seen in this war and some other wars... The air attacks tend to be higher percentage in terms of the chances of getting a 3-star. So this is kind of the other type of attack that I've been seeing a lot more. And I think that uh, it's effective. I mean, uh, Nico only has a level 22 queen. So it just kind of goes to show you don't necessarily need that, need that max queen. I'd say as long as she's above 20, you're in pretty good shape for doing one of these queen walks. Has to use the ability for that P.E.K.K.A just because it was getting re uh, getting ready for a second swing. I think the CC P.E.K.K.A might actually come back a little bit because it swings faster, let's remember. That buff it got wasn't just offensively, now it has the defensive uh, attribute of swinging a little bit faster, taking that queen out um, a little bit faster too. So something to keep in mind there if you're uh, hung up on what CC to bring. But uh, Nico lose, loses a few healers to that air defense and he'll lose a few more to Seeking Air Mines, I believe. But remember, Every Seeking Air Mine uh, that your healers hit is a Seeking Air Mine that won't hit your Lava Hounds. And maybe that doesn't apply if it's a part of the base that's already been taken out, I guess. The Lava Hounds won't be going there. But if in case something does go there, the Seeking Air Mine's no longer there to take out your Balloons or your Lava Hounds. So it depends, I guess, where your Queen Walk is going. Uh, right here, he actually has to use pretty much all his Rages on the Queen. I like how there's one healer on her right there, and she's still fighting. Uh, get some great value before she goes down. Enough to uh, to help those Balloons crush the rest of this base. He uses the Haste spells on them, which I think is a great idea. Especially when you have so many Balloons, you don't need that extra damage. The Haste is going to be just fine, and it's a lot more efficient. So... Uh, yeah, that last Lava Hound going over, tanking for the Archer Tower. Ton of troops left up, has his king as well. Uh, crush this base, awesome attack to Nico. We'll go ahead and fast forward and take a look at one more. Also, one of these Queen Walk variations. I think the, uh, the Queen Walk's a good idea when the kill squad's going to be a little bit awkward in terms of pathing. You don't know where your heroes or your possibly where your bowlers will go. 
and there's just an opportunity where your queen can go in, not have to deal with a lot of damage, and get you some great value. And uh, one of the great things about the queen walk is if you do it right, you have that queen up for the entire attack. Um, she won't go down, and that's a very effective thing. I've said this before, late in the attack, whether it's Town Hall 9 or Town Hall 10, when you're going through those three-star attempts, having the queen up at the end of the attack, especially with some healers on her, is the best recipe for success. So, um, Yo Mama, I think he's been asking to be on the channel a lot lately. Well, here he goes uh, with his debut. There's the queen, there's the king. The king just to create the funnel off to the left there, take out a few buildings, and the queen, gonna go ahead and wall breaker her in right here. His hero's actually pretty low level um, relative to what we typically see. 2115 so doesn't need to be max heroes i said you want to typically have the upper half around there especially for a queen walk you want to have you know probably 20 um if you're below 15 you're definitely not going to be able to do it 15 to 20 is a little bit iffy but he has the 21 which is going to be uh sufficient drops down the rage on the queen and you can see also because he has lower level heroes he's taking on a lower level base that's typically how it goes only has those level one expos, I believe. So gets the CC troops taken out real quick. Um, there was the jump spell, which I thought was really nice. Drops the jump down, lets the queen get that next air defense, and basically just roam through this base. Um, he has one more rage if he needs it, but the point defense is pretty dispersed because there's nothing in that core, so his queen's not gonna have to require a whole lot of uh, help to stay up right here. There's the Tesla farm. His balloons have to close in quick, and he has to drop that next Lava Hound quick as well because the first one pops so fast. There's that Rage, and I think that's a pretty good place to use a Rage because there's so many defenses. Um, the extra damage helps them kind of do one-drop kills in those Teslas, which is important, and even get over get the Expo taken out, I believe, with the effect of the Rage. So just moving his way through the base here, that level, is it, f what's max Lava Hound? Level 4? Yeah, I think level 4 is max. Uh, the level 4 Lava Hound really does a lot of tanking, stays up for a long period of time. Uh, so get some great value at Town Hall 9. Um, that's something to consider bringing in addition to those bowlers. That's a good option to, to have. The bowlers sometimes aren't the right play. And when you do the Queen Walk, one of the great things about it is you have that max Lava Hound in the CC that you can bring. And you don't have to uh, bring all your own level 2s. So it stays up for quite a bit longer. Uh, so the queen takes out the king, and this one's pretty much over. Hope you guys liked the video. Like I said, this is what I would recommend um, as your go-to at Town Hall 9. Obviously, you have to take a look at the base, see what it requires. But this seems to be the most uh, reliable attack right now. Air attacks seem to be your best bet. Now, that being said, ground attacks are still popular. And uh, I'll continue to show some ground attacks um, from probably the uh, Immoral Thieves War, if I do a recap of that. So you guys will see some Town Hall 9 ground attacks soon on the channel as well. Um, so that should be another dimension of Town Hall 9 to keep, a, keep an eye on. There's so much going on at Town Hall 9 right now, though, with all kinds of variety in attacks. Just a fun time to be at Town Hall 9. Maybe a little bit easy, but... Um, Three stars are fun, and uh, we still are seeing a few dips every once in a while. So it's not completely um, a given that the, that the Town Hall 9s will get cleared. So that's at least something, and maybe we'll see some other defensive additions to Town Hall 9 from Supercell over the, uh, the coming months in 2017. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Try this out in FC. For those of you Town Hall 9, see how it works for you. It's a good thing to have in your, in your tool belt. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisect the Tron out.